The Rottweiler is a breed of domestic dog, regarded as medium to large or large. The dogs were known in German as Rottweiler Metzgerhund, meaning Rottweil butcher's dogs, because their main use was to herd livestock and pull carts laden with butchered meat to market. This continued until the mid-19th century when railways replaced droving. Although still used to herd stock in many parts of the world, Rottweilers are now also used as search and rescue dogs, guard dogs, and police dogs. The typical lifespan is between 8 to 10 years. The back is straight, strong and firm. The loins are short, strong and deep. The croup is broad, of medium length, and slightly rounded, neither flat nor falling away. The chest is roomy, broad, and deep, approximately 50% of the shoulder height, with a well-developed forechest and well-sprung ribs. The flanks are not tucked up. The Rottweiler is good-natured, placid in basic disposition, very devoted, obedient, biddable and eager to work. His appearance is natural and rustic, his behavior self-assured, steady, and fearless. He reacts to his surroundings with great alertness and at the same time even-tempered. A calm, confident and courageous dog, with a self-assured aloofness that does not lend itself to immediate and indiscriminate friendships. A Rottweiler is self-confident and responds quietly and with a wait and see attitude to influences in its environment. It has an inherent desire to protect home and family, and is an intelligent dog of extreme hardness and adaptability with a strong willingness to work, making them especially suited as a companion, guardian, and general all-purpose dog. According to the American Rottweiler Club, for us, Rottweilers are the best breed in the world, but we firmly believe they are not a dog for everyone. Rottweilers require a calm, stable, and firm pack leader or they will assume that role for you. Puppies and adults need socialization, exercise, and stimulating mental challenges. With these things, you will have a wonderful companion, without them, your Rottweiler may become destructive and out of control. Rottweilers are a powerful breed with well-developed genetic herding and guarding instincts. Potentially dangerous behavior in Rottweilers usually results from irresponsible ownership, abuse, neglect, or lack of socialization and training. However, the exceptional strength of the Rottweiler is an additional risk factor not to be neglected. It is for this reason that breed experts declare that formal training and extensive socialization are essential for all Rottweilers. According to the AKC, Rottweilers love their owners and may behave in a clownish manner toward family and friends, but they are also protective of their territory and do not welcome strangers until properly introduced. Obedience training and socialization are required. One study published in 2008 found that male Rottweilers have higher confidence, sharpness, and defense and play drives than females. A 2008 study surveying breed club members found that while Rottweilers were average in aggressiveness, bites or bite attempts, towards owners and other dogs, it indicated they tend to be more aggressive than average towards strangers. This aggression appears correlated with watchdog and territorial instincts. In the Rottweiler Handbook, Joan H. Walker states that the Rottweiler is very territorial, meaning that the owner will have to regularly work with the dog to control its territorial aggressiveness. Rottweilers are a relatively healthy, disease-free breed. As with most large breeds, hip dysplasia can be a problem. For this reason, the various Rottweiler breed clubs have had X-ray testing regimens in place for many years. Osteochondritis dissecans, a condition affecting the shoulder joints, can also be a problem due to the breed's rapid growth rate. A reputable breeder will have the hips and elbows of all breeding stock X-rayed and read by a recognized specialist, and will have the paperwork to prove it. They will also have certificates that their breeding animals do not have entropion or ectropion and that they have full and complete dentition with a scissor bite. As with any breed, hereditary conditions occur in some lines. The Rottweiler is very prone to osteosarcoma, which is among the most common causes of early death in Rottweilers. For unknown reasons, Rottweilers are more susceptible than other breeds to become infected with parvovirus, a highly contagious and deadly disease of puppies and young dogs. If overfed or underexercised, Rottweilers are prone to obesity. Some of the consequences of obesity can be very serious, including arthritis, breathing difficulties, diabetes, heart failure, reproductive problems, skin disease, reduced resistance to disease and overheating caused by the thick jacket of fat under the skin. As with the vast majority of large breed dogs, Rottweilers are also predisposed to dilated cardiomyopathy, 
According to the American Kennel Club, Rottweilers have a natural gathering style with a strong desire to control. They generally show a loose eye and have a great amount of force while working well off the stock. They make much use of their ability to intimidate. The Rottweiler often carries the head on an even plane with the back, or carries the head up but with the neck and shoulders lowered. Some females lower the entire front end slightly when using their eyes. Males also do this when working far off the stock in an open field. This is rarely seen in males when working in confined spaces such as stock. Yards. The Rottweiler has a reasonably good natural balance, force barks when necessary, and when working cattle uses a very intimidating charge. There is a natural change in forcefulness when herding sheep. When working cattle, it may use its body and shoulders and for this reason should be used on horned stock with caution. The Rottweiler, when working cattle, searches out the dominant animal and challenges it. Upon proving its control over that animal it settles back and tends to its work. Some growers have found that Rottweilers are especially suited to move stubborn stock that simply ignore border collies, kelpies, and others. Rottweilers use their bodies to physically force the stubborn animal to do its bidding if necessary. When working with sheep, the Rottweiler shows a gathering slash fetching style and reams directions easily. It drives sheep with ease. In some cases, Rottweilers have begun herding cattle without any experience at all. If worked on the same stock for any length of time, the Rottweiler tends to develop a bond with the stock and will become quite affectionate with them as long as they do as it directs. The Rottweiler is also exceptionally suited for and is commonly used in many dog sports including agility and Schutz hunt. The portrayal of Rottweilers as vicious or malevolently aggressive dogs in several fictional films and TV series, most notably in The Omen, along with sensationalist press coverage, has created a negative image of the breed. Some films and television shows, such as Lethal Weapon 3, the 1998 film Half-Baked, and the hit HBO show Entourage, have portrayed Rottweilers in a positive light. They are also featured in the children's book series Good Dog, Carl by Alexandra Day. In an event widely reported by the media, a two-year-old UK Rottweiler named Jake owned by Liz Maxted Block was recognized for his bravery by the RSPCA. The dog was out walking with his owner when they heard screams. Jake chased off a man as he molested a woman on Hearsall Common, Coventry, in July 2009. He located the attacker and his victim in thick scrub, chased off the attacker, led his owner to the scene, then stood guard over the victim until the police arrived. The attacker was convicted of serious sexual assault and jailed for four years. Jake was nominated by police for the Bravery Award and Medallion after the incident. Det. Con Clive Leftwich, from the Coventry Police Station, said, From our point of view Jake the Rottweiler stopped a serious sexual assault from becoming even worse. According to the FCI standard, the Rottweiler is considered to be one of the oldest dog breeds. Its origin goes back to Roman times. These dogs were kept as herder or driving dogs. They marched over the Alps with the Roman legions, protecting the humans and driving their cattle. In the region of Rottweil, these dogs met and mixed with the native dogs in a natural crossing. The main task of the Rottweiler now became the driving and guarding of the herds of cattle and the defense of their masters and their property. This breed acquired its name from the old free city of Rottweil and was known as the Rottweil Butcher's Dog. The butchers bred this type of dog purely for performance and usefulness. In due course, a first-rate watch and driving dog evolved which could also be used as a draft dog. The build-up to World War I saw a great demand for police dogs, which led to a revival of interest in the Rottweiler. During the First and Second World Wars, Rottweilers saw service in various roles, including as messenger ambulance, draft, and guard dogs. The Deutsche Rottweiler Club, DRK, German Rottweiler Club, the first Rottweiler club in Germany, was founded on January 13, 1914, and followed by the creation of the Süddeutsche Rottweiler Club, SDRK, South German Rottweiler Club, on April 27, 1915 and eventually became the ERK, International Rottweiler Club. The DRK counted around 500 Rottweilers, and the SDRK 3000 Rottweilers. The goals of the two clubs were different. The DRK aimed to produce working dogs and did not emphasize the morphology of the Rottweiler. The various German Rottweiler clubs amalgamated to form the Allgemeiner Deutsche Rottweiler Club, ADRK, General German Rottweiler Club, in 1921. 
This was officially recorded in the Register of Clubs and Associations at the District Court of Stuttgart on January 27, 1924. The ADRK is recognized worldwide as the home club of the Rottweiler. In 1931, the Rottweiler was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club. In 1936, Rottweilers were exhibited in Britain at Crofts. In 1966, a separate register was opened for the breed. In fact, in the mid-1990s, the popularity of the Rottweiler reached an all-time high, with it being the most registered dog by the American Kennel Club. In 2017, the American Kennel Club ranked the Rottweiler as the eighth most popular purebred dog in the United States. The color and markings of a Rottweiler are very distinctive. According to the FCI standard a Rottweiler is always black with clearly defined markings of a rich tan on the cheeks, muzzle, throat, chest, and legs, as well as over both eyes and under the base of the tail the American Kennel. Club calls for mahogany or rust-colored markings that do not take up more than 10% of the dog's body color. All Rottweilers standard to AKC specifications have one mahogany dot above each eye on the inner brow ridge, on the cheeks, one strip on each side of the snout, cheek markings do not cross over the bridge of the nose, the top of the nose should remain black. The markings on the face should move down onto the dog's throat. On the chest, a Rottweiler will have two downward-facing triangular marks. On each front leg, the marks will stretch from the forearm to the toes. On the hind legs, the markings will begin on the inside and move outward onto the stifle, then out onto the hock stretching to the toes as well. AKC standards recognize that the black base color is not completely voided on the rear pasterns. There is a patch of rust or mahogany underneath the tail that resembles a triangle as well. A thin strip of black should be present on each of the Rottweiler's toes.